Hey everybody, Notorious here. Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we're going to talk all about open and closed moving rope systems for tree climbing. I'm excited to teach you, so let's get right to it. The first, oldest, and most simple method for climbing with a moving rope system is known as a closed system and it incorporates simply a rope that is doubled over either over a natural crotch or through something like a pulley saver or a ring to ring friction saver an open system incorporates again simply just a rope and here i have a 12.8 millimeter or half inch 16 strand arborist climbing rope. It's rated for 35.1 kilonewtons. And you need to be climbing with a rated rope, something that is rated for life support. I always, my rule of thumb is if it's below 23 kilonewtons, then it's not strong enough. So I always try to have a good safety factor when I'm climbing a tree. And what you're gonna do is either double your rope over a limb or go through the process of quickly installing a ring to ring. Um, it's, it seems overwhelming at first, but as you practice, installing a ring to ring gets easier and faster. So I have mine doubled through a ring to ring friction saver right now. And in order to create an open moving rope system, you're gonna take your end and it doesn't have to have a splice like mine has. It can just be a normal end. This type of system works best with 12 to 16 strand ropes. However, you can use pretty much any rope of any you know, cover strand count, whether it be uh, 24 or 32 or 48, but you will probably have a hard time getting this to work with anything above a 24 strand rope. So just keep that in mind. And unless it's really well used and nice and supple. So we're gonna take this end and we're going to basically pull out an arm's length worth of rope and then where our other hand is, we're going to connect it to our bridge. And you can connect this to your bridge using a number of different hitches and knots, whether it be an anchor hitch or I like to use a simple clove hitch um, and there are a number of different reasons for that first of all it's really easy to tie so all you do is you just loop it over once loop it over again put one loop over the other and then install it onto your carabiner and then with our free section here we're going to use it to tie a Blake's hitch on this other strand here. So you want to create this hitch probably about a foot away from your knot on your harness. So I'm going to tie it right up about here and so we're just going to tie a simple four wrap Blake's hitch
Sorry, I'm struggling here. All right. So we've got our Blake's hitch on the rope and we want to make sure that it's dressed and set nicely. So make sure that everything is snugly on there. And then what we want to do is tie a stopper knot to make sure that this tail doesn't creep through the knot or the hitch as we're climbing. So I'm just going to tie a figure eight And now we can test the system. So bring it up and see if it holds. And yep, it holds. And the way this works is the friction hitch is actually locking onto this portion of the rope. And we can use this to ascend. Now, you also want to make sure that this hitch is far enough away from you to give you enough throw, um, but not so far that you can't reach it. Um, right now, if I were like this, hanging, you know, hip thrusting, I, pro I, pr I probably wouldn't be able to reach it. So the beauty of a clove hitch is that I can now lessen that length by pulling some of that slack out. And now I have a system that I can reach, all right? And this is much better. So in order to climb with this system, you're gonna do what's known as hip thrusting. And that involves pulling down on this rope, this tail of the rope here, and sort of lifting your hips up and ascending the hitch as you climb. So I'm just gonna do this. This rope is really slippery, so I'm gonna wrap my hand around it and I'm going to Oh, wants me to swing. I'm just gonna pull up and ascend the hitch. So, pull up and ascend the hitch. So I don't know if I'm out of frame yet, but just pull up and ascend the hitch. And that's really how this works. And if you want to descend, you just take your fingers and gently pull down on the hitch and it will lower you to the ground. So that is a closed system. Our next system is a improvement upon the closed climbing system that I just demonstrated and I'll explain and demonstrate why very shortly. Um, and it incorporates what's known as a split tail. A split tail is a length of cordage, roughly around six to seven feet long. And it has, in this case, I have a sewn eye on one end um, and you can just make your own if you want. You can just take a length of either hitch cord or even just regular polyester rope um, that, you know, is either the same type and diameter of your climb line or different and slightly smaller. Um, again, 12 and 16 strand ropes grab really nicely uh, compared to ropes with higher uh, cover strand counts, um, but you can just play around with whatever and you can make your own if you want, but I bought this. This is a 10 millimeter diameter, so it's 
a little a little small for this rope here. Uh, this is a 12.8 again, uh, but it'll work just fine. And let me demonstrate how it works. In this situation, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our split tail and we're gonna just connect it to our carabiner first. And especially if you're using knots and don't have sewn or splice terminations, I would recommend using an HMS or pear shape you know, style carabiner so that you have enough space for both knots. Or you could put each portion on a separate carabiner, uh, color code it so that way you can easily have them separated and not, you know, cram everything onto one carabiner. So that's also an option. You first put the split tail on and then you put the end of your climb line on. And now, same thing as before, we're going to tie a Blake's hitch. And here I don't have the option of adjusting it with my clove hitch, so I've got to make sure I get it, I get it right. Usually you want it to be about a foot away from where it connects to your bridge. All right, so I've got my four wrap Blake's hitch and keep in mind that you can always add an extra wrap to your Blake's hitch if it slips for any reason while you're climbing um, or if you're a heavier climber, you can add a fifth wrap to your Blake's. So just so you know. And so, of course, now I need to tie my stopper knot. And there we have it. So why is this system better than a closed system, you may ask? Well, with a closed system, if you wanted to pass a limb or adjust your tie-in point or do anything really where you're moving the location of your climbing system, you would need to completely untie your hitch, then completely untie your other hitch at your bridge, and then you can do the adjustments, and then you have to retie that hitch at your bridge, and then you have to retie your Blake's, or there are other hitches that you can use with a split tail. Another popular one is the taut line hitch, not to be confused with the other taut line hitch, which is used to tension tent lines. So we're talking about the friction hitch here. It's very different. Um, so, but the Blake's, in my opinion, is a much more easy to tie and it's far superior but i digress with a open system like this you don't have to go through that hassle of untying every little facet to make an adjustment all you have to do is just take it off and then you can just pull it over and then throw it over another limb and you can keep your friction hitch right here or if you need to you can take it off as well to help it you know if you need to move it down a lot um or whatever you can make the adjustment 
and then your friction hitch is still there when you need it. You can just clip it back on. You can clip your tail back on when you're ready and you're back in business. So it's a small adjustment with huge benefits. So I would strongly encourage anyone who is looking to start with a basic climbing system like this and most climbers in tree climbing world, you know, start with basic moving rope systems like these. You don't have to start with the closed system if you don't want to. It's, I mean, there are immediate benefits to using a open system like this with a split tail and it'll help you already get a head start in, you know, more advanced climbing systems. And it's also not that much harder to comprehend. I mean, you saw what I did. It's compared to a closed system. It is just, it's, it's brainless. It's so to climb with this system, you're going to do the exact same thing. My least favorite thing in the world, which is hip thrusting. And I'm sure you've noticed how bad I am at it. So just, you know, don't be too, don't be too hateful in the comments section, but you can still learn from this video because I, I'm, I'm doing it right. I'm just terrible at it. So what we're going to do is again, make sure we're going to weight our system, make sure that it holds, make sure that we can reach our friction hitch. Because if you can't reach your friction hitch, you may be able to go up, but you won't be able to go down. Um, and so what we're going to do again is, and I like to wrap my hand around this rope because it's so slippery. And we're going to pull up and ascend our hitch, or excuse me, pull down. So... Pull down and ascend the hitch. So, and then when you want to descend, all you're going to do is place your fingers at the top of your hitch and lightly depress until you descend. And that's how you use a open moving rope system.